Hey, what's up, guys? Azima here, and uh, Terry playing Halo Reach again. You know, I just love Halo Reach. But anyway, let's get right into it. For those of you who don't know, 343 Industries is taking over control of Halo Reach and all Halo games starting in August. And that's a pretty big deal. Bungie's leaving Halo behind, letting 343 take the reins, and I'm pretty excited about it. Because let me tell you why. Um, I guess you could say last Friday, and what 343's kind of like weekly update is their sort of blog post, they said, quote, We're pleased to confirm that we're planning a title update for Halo Reach in preparation for the multiplayer aspect of Halo Anniversary. This is something that will not only sit side by side with Reach's existing gameplay and will be accessible by both Reach and Anniversary players, but will allow us to make fairly significant changes to multiplayer gameplay within the confines of matchmaking. We've talked about this in a better way to recreate the classic Halo Combat Evolved feel for the new classic maps, and it will let us do some things in gameplay that simply aren't possible now. There are some bigger ticket classic Halo gameplay elements which people are clamoring for which we intend to do our best to deliver on. More news about specific changes and timing of the title update will be forthcoming, but I can say that for having tried a few of the more significant tweaks Certain classic elements are already working with beautiful and deadly efficiency. Now, before I get into my thoughts about this little quote, I just want to say that maybe it's possible that 343 has already made a mistake here. They may have already just dug themselves a hole. You know, it might be a pretty bad idea to, to make this kind of announcement that they're planning an update for Reach because the reason is people are going to get and people already have these huge expectations for Halo and what, what they need to do for the matchmaking, what they need to do for to keep the playlist. And now they're saying that they're making a title update for Halo Reach. That's a pretty big, big deal because they're doing what Bungie couldn't do. They're doing what Bungie wouldn't do. And, that, and if they don't deliver, then the community is already going to be one strike against 343. They're already going to be angry at them for not delivering enough with the update. So they may have already dug themselves a hole here, but I'm actually, like I said earlier, they're going to do what Bungie couldn't do. Because Bungie is an absolutely amazing developer. They love their fans, and they love just making great multiplayer games. But one thing that they've always been is stubborn, and they are stubborn as heck with Reach, and they're just adamant that they did not make a mistake with the multiplayer, and that it's perfectly fine, which is something I don't agree with at all. And 343 obviously doesn't agree with that either, but... If they don't deliver on what they've said already, then I think the community is really going to, it's going to be a backlash for them. And that's really going to be bad. But anyway, I have a lot of hopes for this update and I just wanted to maybe share with you guys some of my hopes, what's going to happen in this title update. But basically, I know they're not going to fix the, the matchmaking of Halo Reach. They're not going to really mess with it. I'm pretty sure they're going to leave the matchmaking the way it is. But I'm hoping for... I'm hoping that the playlist for the Halo Anniversary maps acts as kind of like an expansion pack where it's separate from the game. It's not, maps aren't in the same like playlists as the Halo Reach map. Kind of like if you guys have played Battlefield, how the Battlefield Vietnam expansion is completely separate and you can't, they don't mix together because there's different like options and stuff like that. That's kind of what I want Halo Anniversary to be. I want it to be like 343 said, a more classic Halo experience. And what I'm expecting is I'm hoping for no armor abilities. I'm hoping for bloom. I'm hoping for no bloom. And another thing I hope is I hope a custom game option for Reach is to toggle bloom on and off. Now, I think this would appease a lot of parties because it would allow competitive players to play custom games without any bloom. And it would be really, it would be a good thing for Reach, I think. Now, like I said earlier, I hope it plays as a separate expansion pack. I hope they fix the grenades. I hope they... They, you know, they, f and another big thing I hope is they add for Reach in general, not just the anniversary. They add a ranking system. It doesn't have to be 1 through 50. It doesn't, it has to be something else other than the arena right now because the arena just does not work. A 1 through 50 ranking system would be fine. Any kind of competitive ranking system that's better than what we have right now. That's what I'm really, really hoping for. I'm, I'm praying for a ranking system like this because it would really bring so many players back to Reach, and I think it would really help the game grow through Halo Anniversary Edition. Now, in this, in this 
weekly update, their little blog post, they said, Elements already working with beautiful and deadly efficiency. Now, I think what this is, I think this is an allusion to the Halo 1 pistol. So I'm really hoping that we see a return of the Halo 1 pistol in matchmaking through the Halo CE Anniversary Edition remake. And that would really, that would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. You guys are the best. You guys are the greatest. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I want to know what you want to see from 343 Industries as they take over Halo in this, this coming August. It can be armor abilities. It can be anything you want. Playlists, fixes, bug fixes, anything you want. Just tell me in the comments below what you were looking for from 343 Studios. Now, as this gameplay commentary comes to a close, I want to say thank you guys for watching. As always, you guys are the best. Like the video if you like it. Thumbs up for Halo Reach. I'm pumped for Halo Anniversary now. I hope you guys are too. 343, you know, you've got some big shoes to fill. And um, really, good luck to you. That's all I got to say. Thank you for watching, guys.